welcome to this GeoTime how-to video. In this video we're going to take a look at how to merge multiple entities into one scene. Here I've gone ahead and imported some CDR records. As I import data you can see that it's going to be put onto the auto-generated entity. Think of this like a general bucket where data is put. This bucket will contain information for a single entity and GeoTime will draw the trail based on the event's timing. But if I want to bring in a second entity, I don't want these new events to be added on to the existing trail. In order for me to create a unique entity so that I will not have my second entity merged onto the existing one, I simply need to click on the auto-generated entity. This is going to select all of the events associated with it currently, and then I go to the Tools menu. Under the Tools menu, you'll find Create Entity from Selection. This is going to allow me to create a unique entity. Here I'm going to put in Mobile01. This will now create a completely unique entity within GeoTime. Let's go ahead and merge in our second entity. Now you can see the new records have been dumped into the auto-generated entity bucket. If I'd like to rename that or make that one a unique one, I simply need to repeat the process. Let's select the auto-generated entity bar, which will select all of my events. I'll go to Tools, Create Entity from Selection, and I'll call this one Mobile2. last thing I'll need to do is to color them in order to differentiate them. I can manually right click on the bar and go to object properties to do this or if I want to automatically color a number of entities I can simply click on the color button. This will assign it a number of different colors. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the rest of the GeoTime how-to video series.